Terraforming Mars versus Venus, which planet is more feasible? Imagine humanity transforming an entire planet. But which neighbor, Mars or Venus, offers the best chance for a second Earth? Let's dive into the science and speculate on the possibilities. Mars, the red planet, has long captured our imagination. It already possesses some advantages for terraforming. Its day is similar to Earth's, and evidence suggests past liquid water. The presence of water ice at the poles is a valuable resource. Mars' lower gravity, about 38% of Earth's, is a challenge. However, it might be manageable for human adaptation. Venus, shrouded in toxic clouds, presents a far more daunting task. Its surface temperature is hot enough to melt lead. The atmospheric pressure is 90 times that of Earth. This would crush any unshielded human habitat. However, Venus has a gravity similar to Earth's. Some propose floating cities in the upper atmosphere where temperatures and pressures are more manageable. Terraforming either planet requires massive technological intervention. For Mars, this includes warming the planet and thickening the atmosphere. Releasing greenhouse gases could trap solar radiation. Introducing hardy bacteria could convert the Martian soil. Venus requires cooling and reducing the atmospheric pressure. Ideas include deploying space shades to block sunlight. Genetically engineered algae could potentially convert carbon dioxide into breathable air. While both planets present immense challenges, Mars appears more feasible in the near term. The resources are more accessible, and the environmental conditions are less extreme. Venusian terraforming might be centuries, if not millennia, away. It requires breakthroughs in technology we can only dream of today. Ultimately, the choice depends on our technological capabilities and long-term goals. Both planets offer unique opportunities for expanding humanity's reach. Which planet do you think is more likely to be terraformed first? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more space exploration content and consider supporting organizations dedicated to planetary research. Let's work together to make these dreams a reality.